Hello friends and welcome back to our channel. We are ready for another Disney trip. So I wanted to show you guys everything we're packing. I'm going to include all of our clothes, all of our snacks, and all of the park essentials that we take, including our fanny packs, what we put in our packs, backpacks, coolers, everything. So if you're ready, please give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. All right, I wanted to share some of our park bags. Every day I'm taking my fanny pack and here are the things that I like to keep in it. First of all, here are the magic bands that we are taking and using. Um, I always keep lotion in my fanny pack. Let's see, what else? Uh, Rex's sunglasses. Pins for pin trading. Rex has a lot of pins. Tissues, cause kids get runny noses and all kinds of other things. Let's see, a marker for the autograph book. Chapstick, another marker, and sunblock. Uh, different marker, okay, nothing else in that pocket. So in the front, this is typically where we keep our phones while we're on rides so they don't fall out of our pockets and also our wallet so it doesn't fall out of our pocket. So right now, all that's in here is a pen, which I'll keep just in case somebody needs a pen instead of a marker and a gift card. I'll check and make sure, but I think there's no balance on that. Then there's this pocket. Let's see what's in here. I haven't cleaned it out since the last trip. So we've got, this is where I keep all of the keepsakes we get, all of the stickers that Rex gets. Plus if you go do the Enchanted Tales with Belle, your kid gets a bookmark. We went and did it a lot, as you can tell. Uh, what else do I have in here? More stickers and band-aids. All right, so let's check out. This is my Haunted Mansion lounge fly backpack. Uh, let's see, I've got my ears. I've got more sunglasses for Rex. What else is in here? We don't actually use the backpack a lot. Oh, more Sharpies. I won't need to take all of those with us. More sunblock. So every day, we would put this sunblock on our face, the small one I keep in my fanny pack. Again, I don't take the backpack with us every day, but just in case I need to, and I'm actually gonna put this, this is some uh, hand sanitizer. I'm gonna put it on my fanny pack so we always have that. The thing I'm gonna share with you guys are Rex's clothes. Um, Rex is our seven-year-old son and really, really loves the Indiana Jones show at Hollywood Studios as well as everything over in Galaxy's Edge. First, we have a shirt from the new Buzz Lightyear movie, a Mickey Mouse shirt. I try to, sorry, that's snowflake. <laughs> I try to pack as many shirts as possible that are Indiana Jones themed. Let's see. Oh, some of these are backwards. Sorry, guys. Here's another indie shirt. A goofy movie. And Star Wars. Let me see this. One, two, three. <clears throat> Excuse me. Four, five, six. So, I need to go back to his closet and grab some more because we are going for a nine-day trip. Um, at this point with my packing, I've just been grabbing things throughout the week and throwing them in the suitcase. And I'm going through everything and making sure we have everything we need. So we are going to be at Disney for nine days, eight nights. We are going to hit every park, Animal Kingdom, Epcot. Our favorite right now is Hollywood Studios. And of course, we're going to hit up Magic Kingdom. So even though we're going for nine days, we are going to pack more than that because I like to have a couple extra outfits for each person just in case. Um, you never know when it's going to rain and you need to come back to the hotel for a change of clothes. Um, if you get on a water ride, you get too wet. If you just get too hot and just need a change. So, so definitely taking two complete outfits for each person. All right, went ahead and grabbed a few more. Um, we've got this Disney World shirt for him, another Indiana Jones shirt. This, I love this. This would be a cute Epcot shirt. Stitch and Darth Vader. All right, moving over to my shirt. Um, yes, everything is wrinkly, and no, I don't mind. It's fine. So this one, it's not showing up as pink as it is um, on the camera, but I've got my pink Magic Vibes shirt, my Splash Mountain shirt. This is my 50th anniversary shirt. I love it. This is another one of my favorites. 
This one is super lightweight. So, and I love the tie dye. So, my Magic Curse shirt. I love this Magic Curse shirt. This I'm definitely gonna wear probably for Animal Kingdom. <laughs> um, my Up Adventure is Out There shirt. People Remover. This is also another favorite of mine, just a tie dye Mickey. And my shirt from a Goofy Movie. Okay, so I love these shorts so much. They're super comfy. I got them in orange, lavender, blue, black, all the different colors. Um, they got cargo pockets here. The more pockets you have at Disney, the better. And then they actually have this elastic waistband. So love these. And I know some people think I'm odd with this, but I do have a favorite pair of socks for just any day. But especially at Disney, if you don't have the right socks on and you're walking and you're getting hot, you can get blisters. So definitely recommend Bombas. Bombas are my all-time favorite socks. I never have any issues with blisters or any problems while we're at Disney. Um, speaking of what you wear, let's uh, also talk shoes. Shoes for Disney are important. You are going to walk a lot. So we get um, Brooks. All right. These are my Disney shoes. I normally don't wear them outside of Disney. Um, they are Brooks. This is the brand that we wear. James has a pair for Disney and then I also have a backup. All right, and sorry, the shoes are messy, but these are our backup shoes for me and Rex. I'm gonna check with James which backup shoes he wants. Um, so Rex is actually going to wear his water shoes down on the trip, um, big road trip, and he doesn't like having his feet and shoes all day. So he'll just be in water shoes on the way down. Um, these are my water shoes, my backup tennis shoes. In case those get wet or I can't wear them. And then I've got Rex two pairs of tennis shoes. I will get a pair of tennis shoes for James as backup. He will probably actually wear his flip-flops down also. So I'll pack two pairs of tennis shoes for James because you don't want flip-flops in the park. It is not going to be comfy. I just remembered I have to pack this trip a little differently because we're going to be staying at the Galactic Star Cruiser. Rex doesn't know. All right, wanted to jump on here real quick with this little clip for you guys. This video is owed. I just now got it out. Sorry for the delay. Um, we did have a great time at the Galactic Star Cruiser. We actually already posted that video, so I'm going to go ahead and just link it right here for you guys. So I'm packing a suitcase for the hotel because we're, we're going to be there a long time. I'm packing one for Pop Century and then one for that one. And then a second one for the second time for Pop Century. Um, it's not too many suitcases. We always pack that many suitcases but between all of our clothes and Rex's costumes and everything. Okay, so one of the things I found that I'm definitely going to pack this time is the sun visor. Rex found it in Kohl's probably four years ago and wanted it for Christmas. He's never worn it. Um, my forehead burns so bad. And I feel like this would be just fantastic to take with me to Disney. So we will pack backup tennis shoes in case our shoes get wet. Um, I keep rain jackets in the car. I'll do our whole section on the car, everything that we're going to pack in there. And I'm going to go work on getting the rest of our clothes packed. Um, wanted to show you guys pajamas. Also, why not Disney themes? So Rex, I got him short sleeve pajamas with a pair of shorts, but also short sleeve pajamas with a pair of pants. Um, both Star Wars things. Packing can be a little tricky because we do stop on our way down to Disney. We stop in Georgia for a night um, because it is such a long trip for us. So I actually pack a separate suitcase specifically for Georgia so we don't have to get the big one out and dig through things. I just have one specifically for that stop. So that's going to include our clothes for the first day of Disney and then I'll get another suitcase for Disney. All right and our Georgia suitcase is packed. Let's go. All right, one suitcase down. How many do you think we're gonna end up packing? All right, this is going to be our costume suitcase. If you can let your kids wear costumes to the parks, it just enhances their whole experience. I wanna do this suitcase because there's so many of these little compartments for the accessories. Um, I've got here two. Rex likes to do the pool. We'll put pour goggles and like a diving stick in here for his indie costume, his gloves, um, his torch. And there's really no telling how many costumes he's going to want to pack. Hopefully they were all fit in here. All right, so Rex has picked out a few costumes. I'm going to see if they're all going to fit in the suitcase. Costumes might be Rex's favorite part of Disney because they treat him like he's one of the characters and he just has the absolute best time ever. 
So here's what we're packing as far as costumes. All right, first costume up is a brand new costume. Um, you guys know he left to dress up as a lieutenant in Galaxy's Edge, and that costume is getting a little too small. We had this one custom made. It was very hard to find, but I think he's gonna really enjoy having this one. All right, he also wants to take this Pirates hat. This is one that you can actually buy in the gift shop right outside of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. All right, here's another one. It's brand new, still has the tags on it. You can actually get this in the gift shop outside of Toy Story Mania. And Rex said that he wants to wear this one for the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin at Magic Kingdom. And then here's the costume that's going to be worn the most, which is his Indiana Jones costume. Um, all we need to do is go grab his gloves that he got from the show and also his torch. All right, so here is the hood and gloves for Buzz Lightyear. Here is the pack, lantern, and gloves for Indy. And we have one more costume on the way being ordered right now through Amazon. It's his new Prince Charming costume. One he wore last trip, just too small today. One. This is a costume Rex wants to wear. It's really just a zookeeper vest, but Rex wants to wear it for Animal Kingdom. Um, but it's got all kinds of cute little pockets, and he likes to pretend that he is a zookeeper and a cast member over at Animal Kingdom. Just one more costume. This is Rex's Jedi robe. So this is really an awesome costume because it folds really small, can be in the bottom of a stroller. All right, also I've got these mesh laundry bags. I have two of them I'm gonna take with us. We hang them up in the coat rack when we get to our hotel room and put all of our dirty laundry in it. All right, this one's actually gonna be our day two suitcase. We're really just gonna be spending two nights before we go to the Galactic Star Cruiser. So, I'm gonna use this small suitcase for that. Thankfully, we actually have a lot of suitcases. Let me show with you guys James's shirt. So we've got this one from Aladdin. This one from Star Wars, Haunted Mansion, Star Wars, more Star Wars, uh, Peter Pan, The Lion King, Haunted Mansion, Mickey, which I think this is really cute for Epcot because Epcot's very artsy. And then I got him a couple of these polos. He likes to just wear pack. Anything. All right, still working on packing and a little hard to do when the kitten wants to climb into the suitcase and eat the suitcase. All right, so here are all of our suitcases. We got day one, day two, costumes, day three and four, and day five through nine. All right, clothes are done. So I'm showing you some extra stuff that we always keep packed. These are our backup magic bands. We're taking the ones that charge just in case those don't work. We got backups. Um, I have here some pool toys. Rex won't swim without his goggles. And this is a battery charger. I need to charge it before our trip, but I can keep this in my fanny pack and if our phones run low, I can charge it with this. All right, so here are the foods that we're packing for our road trip and also our Disney stay. Rex loves these applesauce pouches. They have some veggies in them and he normally goes through six to eight a day. So packing plenty of these. Um, a lot of this is for Rex, Nutri-Grain bars, um, got some Go-Gurt we're going to keep in the room at the hotel, Scooby Snacks, Animal Crackers, Club Crackers, because you know kiddos, they love their crackers, um, some cuties, because you can buy these at a lot of the restaurants, um, also good to just pack your own if you can, save you some money, um, some cereal for the road trip, I like to snack on some cereal, this is what I would have for breakfast a lot of times, or just a drink, um, these don't have to be stored in the fridge, which is great because the hotel fridge is really small. I'm gonna take plenty of apple juices and water bottles. And, and also I'm taking this refillable water cup. Um, it keeps everything really cold. That way we can just keep our water with us. All right, here's our bag with all of our food. This is the bag that's gonna be in the car with us. I'm going to add a couple of oranges in here for the road trip. And then I also wanted to share with you guys the cooler bag that we take with us into the parks. So we will put an ice pack up here, although the fridge in the hotel room is not going to keep your ice packs really cold. Um, but mostly this is where I'm going to put the bars, the pouches, everything that Rex could snack on in here. Um, he will eat some things in the restaurants, but he won't eat a lot. So we like to pack a lot of things for him. In this top section here, we can put a bottle of water or two. And we would just put this at the bottom of the stroller and take it with us while we're at the park. Sam! 
Hey guys, I'm Rex. You guys all know me, so you guys have to subscribe to my video. So a couple other things that I need to take into the car with us is always try to keep sunblock on hand. Hi guys, I'm Rex. I'm a, we don't, I don't have everything packed, but my mom and dad do, but I don't because I still have stuff, animals and toys for me to get. All right, I wanted to share with you guys how we pack our car for a Disney vacation. It takes us about 10 and a half hours to drive down to Disney and we drive a Honda Pilot. Um, we have luckily a DVD player so Rex can watch movies, but movies can get kind of boring after a while. So I've packed some other things for him. Just wanted to share everything with you guys. All right, first up front with me, I have trash bags in the door of the car so that whenever we're eating in the car, I can put everything in a trash bag and throw it away at the next stop. I've also got a can of Febreze, not something we normally bring with us, but it happened to be in the car and I don't see any reason to take it out. And then this is actually soap that you can use without water. And we have been leaving this in the car. It's very helpful when we take our weekly trips to the zoo. So definitely something awesome to have if you can find it. All right, so behind the driver's side seat, I'm gonna put my ears there. That way they don't get messed up in the luggage and I can just grab them whenever we get to the park. Uh, behind the passenger side is Rex's books so that if he wants to read, um, I'll probably throw a coloring book in there and some crowns just to give him some more activities to do. He also has his headphones for his movies, a leapfrog game, and then his Mickey neck pillow for when he hopefully will fall asleep in the car. Um, also in his side of the door is his rain jacket. In our side of the door are our rain jackets. I keep them in the doors instead of in suitcases because the chance of you stopping for gas and needing a rain jacket, is, like it's a possibility. So I like to have those at the ready. All right, just check my list. There's a couple more things I need to get. Baby wipes and our chargers for our magic bands. I'm gonna go see if I can find our magic band chargers, which we like, those are kind of important. Need to have those. And the baby wipes actually keep some in my car. So I'm gonna put those in the backpack and keep those with us because those are not really something just for the car trip. Definitely have some with you when you're at Disney. Those kids are going to want ice cream and it's going to melt on them. Definitely make sure you have some baby wipes. Okay, the boys got me this for Christmas a couple years ago, and it's super handy for all of our cards for our Disney trip. It's a lot easier to take this and put it in our fanny pack than taking our big bulky wallet. And once I have the fanny pack all packed up, I'm gonna actually, actually gonna hang that from the back of my seat just so I can grab it. We have the magic bands, everything we need ready to go. A lot of things are last minute, like medicines, pillows. Um, we do take our own pillows to Disney. Um, if you're a person who needs a lot of blankets, maybe take your own blanket because you don't get a lot. That's it for this packing video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of the videos of our upcoming trip. Hey guys, it's me, Rex. I hope you guys got my... <laughs>